Hey everyone, Darren Scott, writer director of The Oath, OathMovie.com. Want to do this very special announcement, huge news. Uh, we are going to continue our theatrical run. Uh, Megaplex has offered us uh, at least another week and hopefully more than that. Uh, what's exciting is because we were we're still selling tickets up until even yesterday, we sold out two shows uh, here in Utah and uh, all the shows had lots of seats sold. Um, and uh, Megaplex has, has decided to continue with the Oath in theaters. We're hoping that this continues through um, possibly through February, uh, possibly longer. Uh, it will go on, important for you to know, that it will go on as long as people continue to buy tickets. So very exciting. We're reopening uh, one location with Megaplex. And if this goes well, we might reopen St. George and Ogden as well. Uh, for those who are in other countries watching, please hang in there. I'm going to tell you at the end of this message, uh, don't lose hope. You'll get to see the oath as well. Hang in there. Um, so Legacy Crossing in Centerville, Utah, Megaplex is reopening this Friday. So you can get tickets right now on sale for Friday. And let's show them that we should keep that open. If that goes well, we can open St. George, Ogden, possibly other places. So let's keep the pace going. Uh, if you have seen it, please tell your friends, tell everyone you know to go see it. Go see it again with them. Uh, the most frequent thing that comes up, uh, I've been able to visit personally, make, make personal appearances to many of these screenings. I've met so many of you awesome people at these screenings. It's been such a, a gift, really. Uh, to, to get to know you and, and hear your responses. I've had many people cry on my shoulder after the movie. And it's just been so great to get to know you guys, and those will continue. We'll con I'll continue to drop in personally to, to the more full show times, and sometimes I like it to be a surprise. Sometimes I'll let you know in advance, but thank you so much for, for coming and seeing The Oath, and keep spreading the word. At this point, it's almost entirely word of mouth, so we really appreciate it. We're still scoring at 86% over 500 reviews, on Rotten Tomatoes, so by and large, people really like the oath. So again, Legacy Crossing Centerville, Utah is opening this Friday. We're also currently open still in Thanksgiving Point, Lehigh, Utah, District South Jordan, Utah, Jordan Commons, Sandy, Utah, Valley Fairmore, West West, West Valley, Utah. Also in Idaho, uh, we have uh, two locations, Overland Park Cinemas in Boise. Uh, links also, guys, are in the description of this video. Links to all of these showtimes are in the description of this video, okay? Uh, and their respective theaters. So Overland Park Cinemas, Boise has us until tomorrow, and then we're out of that theater, but we are opening in a new a Nampa, Idaho theater called The Real Theater. Link in the description. On Friday, uh, The Oath will be playing, which is about 20, 20 to 30 minutes from Boise, so it's not too much further. Uh, Arizona. We're opening a brand new theater at the Pollock Cinemas in Tempe, Arizona. This Friday starts uh, starts this Friday. Pollock Cinemas, uh, Tempe, Arizona. And then we're also in the Harkin Superstition Springs in Mesa, Arizona until tomorrow, Thursday. So you can catch a showing today uh, at, at 8 or so p.m. And then tomorrow, same, same time. That'll be the last show time there, unfortunately. And then in Utah, there's one more theater in Kaysville, Kaysville Theater in Kaysville, link in the description here. All the Megaplex theaters can be just found right there on our site, link in the description, uh, oathmovie.com, and just right there in the API, it'll pull up all the uh, all the showtimes for Megaplex. So let's keep the momentum going. If you can, uh, please leave us a review. If you haven't, if you love the oath, and please share it uh, with as many people as you can. Share the love. You know, there's a lot of big movies, a lot of re-releases of movies that we're competing with, and this is a this is a weekly battle. It's literally a war to stay on the screen because there's so many big films that are fighting to push us out, but you guys continue to buy tickets so they can't just kick us out. Please, let's keep that going. Let's keep that going. Let's keep it awesome. Let's do uh, reach as many souls as we can before before we leave theaters. And then for those who are in other countries, okay. Um, you've asked about will this be available? It will definitely be available. Probably it looks like the end of March We will be redoing our digital worldwide release and You will be able to stream it on Amazon iTunes and everywhere else uh, But for those who are in the theater locations, please please support it in the theaters. It's so so important It'll also help us to go wider on our digital release 
to possibly get on 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 platforms like Netflix potentially if we if we can do well enough in our box office. So it's so so important. And also, you just it's just not the same seeing it outside of a theater, unfortunately. And uh, for those outside of the uh, of the U.S., that may be the only option that, that you have. Um, it's still awesome, but if you can see it in the theater, it really is a theatrical experience. A two-time Emmy Award-winning composer Trevor Morris, his music is so, so beautiful, and the message is just so powerful. Uh, please go see it. Love you guys, and until next time.